Thank you for clicking on this Fun with Pete and Sherry video. I am your host, Mr. Julian. This is your co-host, Tipsy. And uh, today I'm going to be reviewing a whiskey that I've been meaning to review for a long time. And that I um, have had to put off for a few reasons. But anyway, let's jump into this. This is Wassman's Single Malt Whiskey. It's a whiskey that's made here in Virginia, uh, just up the road from me in Sperryville. It is unique. Uh, in that it is a single malt whiskey, uh, so just like uh, they do in Scotland, it is made entirely from malted barley. And in the case of Wassman's single malt whiskey, it is barley that was first engineered by scientists from Virginia Tech, grown here in Virginia, and malted on Wassman's own malting floor. All of this is... Uh, extremely unique most malt whiskey uh, that is made in the United States, and there isn't all that much. Uh, the malted barley comes from elsewhere. Uh, a year ago there was only one malting floor in the country, uh, and it was Wassman's. I do not know whether that's the case anymore or not. Frankly, with so many uh, craft distilleries coming online, I'm, I'm just not sure. Um, so. Anyone out there who knows can maybe let me know that. But it, I um, I started drinking this whiskey a couple of years ago, and uh, well, I meant to review it. Uh, something kind of unfortunate happened, and that uh, the whiskeys that were coming out were, were getting younger. And uh, I I meant to do one that was 14 months, and then all I could get was 13 months, then 12, then 11. But they have been coming back up. This is a 13-month, and uh, I'm going to review that. Now, that doesn't sound like a great deal of time. Wassman's does certain things to speed the maturation of its whiskey, including heating the barrels uh, up and cooling them down again so that the whiskey will go into and out of the wood. Uh, that will sort of speed how, how much flavor it picks up and how smooth it gets. Also using wood chips, uh, oak chips, and applewood chips. In addition to that, the malted barley, before being distilled, is uh, smoked with apple and cherry wood. I have been to Wassman's distillery, and uh, all of this is, is very cool to look at, and uh, really a great operation. So, let's, uh, let's see what's going on in here. Wow, uh, just a very distinctive smell. I sort of get a sense of when you're, when you come across like a, uh, a crab apple tree in just the right season when everything's fallen off and lying on the, on the, on the floor of the, of the ground, on the floor of the forest, as you will, and uh, a sense of apple and uh, it's a touch of decay, maybe that doesn't sound good, but it, do, it smells good. There's this uh, a touch of smoke too, and uh, but not peat smoke. No, 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 not at all. Uh, this is this is a smoke you would get from a from a hardwood fire here in Virginia. Oak and apple and cherry. Mmm, amazing. All right, let's put some of this in a glass. Now, uh, another reviewer on another continent was able to get a hold of some 36-month-old Wassmans for a review, and I, uh, I certainly hope that Wassmans is heading back in that direction of being able to produce some, some older stuff, because my sense, and, and some of this I've picked up from uh, experiments with my own barrel that I got at Wassmans Distillery, uh, some of this I've, I've picked up from drinking Wassmans whiskey, some of, of it from drinking other uh, young-ish whiskeys, and that's this feeling that time can be compressed, but only so far, and only to a certain extent. And, and uh, once you try to push it further, uh, you can sort of bang your whiskey um, uh, into the wood. Uh, people try and do that with, with high pressure. Uh, all this stuff will bruise your whiskey eventually, uh, and wood has in it 
a number of different flavors, most of which you want, some of which you don't. And if you get some of that, if you ever taste a whiskey that's like badly oaked, it's a flavor that never creeps up on you. It's either there or it's not. And if it's there, the whiskey's ruined. Uh, very hard to explain, but I've certainly found that myself. Uh, this is not ruined. This smells a little like apple juice. A little like caramel. A little like butter. Let's do the final test here. Pretty nice, and yeah, pretty smooth for 13 months old. Doesn't baby you. It's got a little warmth to it. Um, but it is served at 48% alcohol, uh, which is about halfway in between the, the uh, low-strength liquor and a cask-strength liquor. So this is strong stuff. And certainly wood, wood, wood is the big flavor here, but a lot of good wood flavors. Caramel, like I said. Very bracing. You can taste the apple and the cherry. All of which in a body that feels, that has the buttery mouth feel of an aged scotch. Not, and I know this is a, this is <laughs> almost academic distinction, but it's not the sort of creamy mouth feel that you would get in um, a, a corn whiskey at all. It's not, it, 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 this is very unlike bourbon, even though it has the heavy flavors you might associate with, with a bourbon. Uh, they're not exactly the same flavors, but it's not it's not delicate flavored like many scotches. It's it's got a heavy flavor, but a but very much a, a malt whiskey mouthfeel. I hope that made more sense than it sounds like it did. Um mm. well, this is certainly good stuff. I um I brought out my barrel because uh, my barrel is starting to look like it's seen better days now. This is it's the third batch I've made in it. The, the second batch, as you know, my sweetened cherry was, was quite good when I treated the barrel with cherry juice. Um, this time I treated the barrel with uh, port wine for a couple of weeks. And what's in there now is a mix of... Uh, Wasman's Single Malt Spirit, which is the unaged Wasman's, and Wasman's Single, uh, or Wasman's Rye Spirit, I should say, which is a mixture of 70% rye and 25%, or is it, is, is it two-thirds? I think it's, I think it's actually, uh, two-thirds rye and one-third, um, malted barley that goes into the rye spirit. So anyway, I mixed those in here, and... I think it's going to be quite good. It's it's uh, it's getting uh, fairly because I've been in here now for about four months. I'm going to leave it for maybe one or two more. So we'll see in September uh, how good my own uh, wasmond is. So anyway, I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to see that. The ages are going up. I think what might have happened is that uh, Mossman, as I mentioned, the rye um, has started putting a rye whiskey on the market. That's been aged about 15 months, and it seems to me as though a, a great deal of the distillery's resources must have been going into the uh, into the rye, the best of what they had, and uh, for a time perhaps the single malt suffered a bit as a result. But I would like to see things continue. Uh, 
in, in terms of getting uh, getting more age. Got 36 month um, uh, that the other reviewer had. I, again, I, I can only imagine how good that must have been. Uh, and boy, if you took this and aged like 12 years, um, I think you might very well have the best whiskey in North America here. And uh, you know, move over Pappy Van Winkle. I think that there's just nothing that could compare to this. If this took on, you know, the softness of a, of a truly aged uh, spirit, it would just be, just be phenomenal. Uh, I'm going to give Wasmos an 8.5, and that's all I have for you today. Thank you again. I'll see you next time.